Hey, what's up you new investors and money makers? Welcome back to the channel. We went above and beyond $6. Take a look. Neo is up 5.86%. I told you precisely, gave you a warning, $7. Take a look. And this is before three days. I've been talking about Neo. I gave you the warning when it is going to hit $6 as well. Give or take, I am predicting it right. And I'm not a financial advisor, nor a certified professional, but I do a lot of research. And in return, Turn, I want to ask you to hit the like button if you are watching this video. You can go take a look at Moneymakers channel, uh, click on Neo videos or click on videos or you search Moneymakers Neo and you'll be able to see everything about Neo that I have been talking. But such a great day, market is down. 0.11%, Nasdaq is down 0.11%, Dow Jones is down half a percent, we are up 6%, and we went to $6.22, right now 614, we are up 6%, and I want to tell you that the analyst on tip ranks now told us about NEO is hitting $7.09. The consensus is $7.09. I told you before a few days already that NEO can hit $7 and which is where we are right now. The lowest price point that could be at $4.80. Remember what happened when NEO was $5.30 or $4.80 rather. Many of my viewers and subscribers, they bought NEO and they reached out and if you're making money, Great, I'm happy for you. Do hit the like button, help out the channel with a couple of dollars. We now have an Instagram link as well, so go check out my Instagram account. I'll make sure that I keep posting on Instagram so you can also get more information there. So follow me on Instagram, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about NEO. What's going on? Number one, why NEO stock is up today. You will start seeing all these articles. NEO stock rose slightly on the hopes of Chinese economy recovery. Now, this is not just NEO. This is Chinese economy. China is working on making sure that they get back on track in terms of their GDP, in terms of their profitability, making sure that they're following up and supporting their corporations, all of the above. But that's not what it's in it for NEO. Now, NEO had really struggled with their deliveries, with their profitability, their uh, earnings. And Q1 also is not a great start for NEO for a couple of reasons. Number one, of course, they're struggling with all these deliveries and revenue and all that kind of stuff. But the second thing is they they were, they were had uh, the New Year holidays and NEO was not an exception. They also sold less deliveries, less vehicles in Q1. They're going to show that in Q1. And they are also focusing that uh, while they, they gave us the guidance when they had the earning. Consumer prices rose in February for the first time in six months. New itself is preparing for the export push for the new cars backed by Abu Dhabi. So they have a pretty good uh, investor based in Abu Dhabi. Money is not really the problem as long as they believe in the company and all the stars are aligned. Take a look at what T-Pranks analysts are telling us. Now, I don't really have an account, a premium account. Hong Kong unveiling upside opportunity for NEO shares. One of the popular Hong Kong stock exchange presented an attractive opportunity for investors with a strong upside potential over the next uh, next 12 months for NEO, a leading Chinese automobile company. Now, Tesla is also selling 21 to 25% of their total cars in China. There are a few reasons as to why NEO has the advantage. Number one, they know the Chinese market so well. Number two, Chinese companies are great at hardware and infrastructure and customer service. Number three, they have the greatest population on the planet Earth. So they are going to make it happen and they have the great advantage. They are selling about $2 billion, $2 to $2.5 billion worth of uh, inventory or the, or the cars in in China and across the globe. And as you can imagine, we are moving into the EV era. So the electric vehicle is the future of automobile. Chinese companies are good at hardware once again and the software as well in addition. As you already know, what happened to the German companies, they couldn't really get their, ra their head around. Um, they, they, they could not really get a really good grasp on how the EV vehicle works. And as a result, the Asian companies are taking over. Of course, Tesla is the bigger market and Elon Musk is m going to make sure that they dominate the industry because force Moore's advantage and he's a genius. 
Neo stock has 137% upside. So can it go to 2x? Probably yes. According to one Wall Street analyst, and we saw that in in this particular um, um, the 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 rating that I showed you, ten dollars and forty cents. But now we're talking about two x from five to six dollars. We're talking about ten to twelve dollars. And can it happen? I'm going to share that it can happen, and I'll also share I'll share a little bit more detail. Number one, you want to take a look into this short volume. So think about the short volume, what the short sales are doing. Number two, you want to look into what the option tradings are doing, the option traders are doing. And I'm going to precisely share the calls and puts with you. And I'll share March 15, 2024. So the week ending call option or the puts option or the contracts, how they are trending. So stay tuned. If you haven't clicked the like button, I want you to hit the like button. We need 200 likes on this video. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe because I put in a lot of energy, effort, my time in building this videos, and I want to get uh, I want to get rewarded for that, and it doesn't cost you anything. So hit the like button, subscribe, go check out my Instagram. The link is in the description below. Follow me on Instagram so you get updated just on your phone as soon as I post some stuff on Neo, not on just Neo, but on many other exciting opportunities. The best CD rates. What else you can do with Lucid? If you are talking about HCMC, all of the about, click the like button. Now, one more thing I wanted to tell you is what is the bullish believer in the stock? Neo just released an earning report, as you already know. Morgan Stanley reiterated the overweight or a buy. And they recommended $13 price point target. This is massive. $13 from $6 is more than 2x. So even if you buy at this price point, and once again, I'm not, this video is not for buy or sell advice. What I'm trying to tell you is many of my viewers and subscribers bought it at $5 or maybe like $4.90. And I know for the fact. So if you are not subscribed, you're missing out on a big time opportunity where you can make money. You want to use this channel for your due diligence. I'm not saying you buy or sell. The same way you read any article, you want to also look into what I have analyzed and will help you out. And I want to make sure that you get this insightful information so you can make informed financial decision. That might not have been the most intuitive stance to take as this analyst is talking about from Morgan Stanley as Neo missed by the analyst estimates for both top and the bottom line for the fourth quarter. But guess what? When the market is fearful, you want to be greedy. And when the market is greedy, take a look at what's happening with Bitcoin. People are now talking about Bitcoin when it is $69,000. They did not talk about Bitcoin when it was $17,000. The real matter that makes an impact is you want to buy Bitcoin if you really believe in crypto. Crypto and Bitcoin is big daddy. So if Bitcoin goes up, Dogecoin goes up, or Ether goes up, everything goes up, right? So 17,000, 18,000, 20,000 was the price point that when you wanted to look into Bitcoin. I am like you. I did not really buy heavy in crypto, but I have been trading and I've been making some money. So if you want to hear about Dogecoin, write down in the comment section below Dogecoin. And I'll talk more about Dogecoin or Bitcoin. But again, Bitcoin hit 3x just in a couple of years. But what was there? Patience is the key. So once again, if you build conviction in NEO, you can get something out of it. And I'll tell you why. So let's take a look once again what NEO has, uh, has, has been up to. $6.16, 6.12% up as we speak. Now, take a look what's happening with the volume. 27.4, so 27.5 million in volume. We're just uh, in one and a half hour, one hour and 45 minutes into this market, and we are hitting pretty good price uh, volume. Now, if you're new to my channel, volume is number of shares transacted during the trading session. Now, take a look. Their average volume is about 65 million or 64.9, and right now we are at uh, 30. What I'm thinking is we are going to see an uptick into the short volume. But if the short sellers are not uh, controlling the price point, it's going to make a big difference and it'll push the NEO in, in, in positive direction. Take a look. We saw on the earning date on the 5th of March, we had a short volume of almost 55%, which means 36.2 million FinRush volume. We had about 20 million in short volume, right? But we came down. We came down in terms of the short volume. What that suggests is short sellers are thinking that it's time for NEO to go up or even better, that NEO cannot really go down too much. And that's where we have been building conviction. I've been sharing along the way. 
So you want to watch out for that. Now, if uh, we, can we go above this 41% short volume today? I believe, yes, we can go as high as 50 or maybe 55 in terms of the short volume because our volume is increasing. All at the same time, if NEO goes up, they want to pressure, right? The short sellers want to pressure the stock price so it can stay below $6 because right now, if we go to 616, 617, I'll give you a breakout because right now, there is a breakout, right? NEO has a breakout and went about $6. If we closes about uh, about 620 625 it's a bullish signal take a look how long it has been that neo did not really close about $6 580 577 578 540 and the last time we were closed uh, about $6 was february 16th after february 16th it's been almost one month we did not really sustain and closed about $6 so if we go about $6 Close about $6, I can easily see that NEO can go to 620, 625 and stay above that price point. So that's again a breakout that we have been talking about. Take a look. This is a pretty bullish chart. I love to see when you see the moving average goes up, our real time price point sustains. It did not really go below the moving average at all. Well, our RSI relative strength index is 51. You know what that suggests? Not a, an overbought condition, not an oversold stock. Perfectly what I love to see. And that's where you want to focus, right? So the RSI is good, moving average is good, real time price point is good. We saw the breakout, and that's really creating a silver line for NEO. And that's what the analysts have been talking about. I really want to share real quick with you that for one month, this is one of a kind breakout that we see. Now, we went in the choppy range. If you remember, I've been talking about this as well, like 570. Uh, or maybe 535 and 585. Now, this 85 price point right here, 83, this is the first time we broke out of that. We tried right here, right, on the 8th of March. Could not sustain. We went down to 535. Once, once again, we tried right here, 583, 82. Could not sustain. So 585 is a strong resistance. Now, if you go about 585, that becomes a strong support. What it means is that psychological barrier or the technical indicator will tell the stock to not go below the 585 and will sustain. Now, in order to go above and beyond, we need to sustain about that price point. There will be a strong buying volume when it goes to 585 because of the all the indicators, right? The stars are aligned. Neo is 616. If it goes and stays about 625, I'm telling you guys, we are going to see $7. Now, again, I don't have a crystal ball, so don't listen to me. Listen to yourself. Build the conviction. Do the analysis. Do the research. But what I'm telling you is to hit the like button so Neo can go to $7 because we want to reach to more and more people, right? Again, short sellers are a bit scared, but they're going to come back because this is a good price point for them. Take a look at this, this volume here. Calls. Calls are batting on the stock going up. We see a pretty good open interest, 9044 at $6.50. Can it go to six fifty? Yes, probably tomorrow, right? Volume, pretty good. One contract here is 100 shares. So we are talking about 13,197 contracts, which is 100 uh, or maybe 1.3 million stocks that we have been talking about, right? If you had one zero one one 130,000, add one more zero, 1.3 million stocks, which is once again great. $7, we are seeing 27,000 plus open interest in contracts, 16,000 plus in volume. And take a look what happens to this people, like uh, the, the puts, right? We have a pretty strong, strong, strong um, 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 the put volume at $5.50. But it will decrease as we go up because we are staying pretty strong. Take a look, 26,000 open interest at $9. Can it go to $9? Not yet, because the volume is not there. Only 10, right? So this is what you consider. Right now, it's uh, almost 70-30, which means calls is at 70% uh, sure, based on what I see, based on the historical interest, based on the instinct. Puts is 30%. So they're trying to build a conviction, but they are not successful just yet. And that's what you want to focus on. The consensus says that NEO, and this is not from me, this is from the Team Ranks analyst who has complex charts. They look into a lot more algorithmic way and they think they are smart. And they are. I'm not uh, debating that. 
They are saying $7.09. I called it out before a few days. We talked about $6. We're about $6. Can it go to seven? We need to see a couple of more indicators, but the stars are going to align. We're going to see some bullish signals. We're going to see more volume and Neo can get as close as $7. So if you, if you bought that stock at $5, uh, pat yourself on the back, um, hit the like button, help out the channel, join it with a couple of dollars. I'll be really uh, excited, motivated to build more and more Neo videos. So hit the like or thanks button uh, in the description below. Uh, join my Instagram. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.